Trouble at the graves, eh? Yeah. Outlaws. The links you recovered. Priceless to me, but... Wouldn't buy a hot meal? <laughs> Nor a bottle of Fortuo brew. Ah, so much history destroyed when the Grand Wall in Freemark fell. Who we lost, what they accomplished... That last grave I visited... A friend. He never came home. I made that marker for him. For now, I have many stories to write and glasses to raise. Hey buddy, got the latest reports if you're interested. Looks like you found a place for your new book. I've barely taken my eyes off it since you brought it back. It hints at so many possibilities. New runes, lost relics, forgotten inventions. It's amazing. Just don't blow your lab up. No promises. What's next for you? Study. I spent so much time looking for the Elysian Manuscript and not a moment on what to do after finding it. That's a good kind of problem. Very much, but I'll still need your help on a thousand things outside the wall. Of course. Excellent. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm reading about how my forebears use hidden resonance layers to embed information. I'll let you get back to it then. Thank you. And Freelancer? Thank you. Heard Tassin mumbling of a... You're back. Wonderful. I get flashes of inspiration whenever we chat. Really? That's good, right? Oh, yes. You know, my mentor had strong feelings about inspiration and the gathering thereof. Inspiration must be seized, Matthias, she'd say. Grab it by the throat and don't let go. Well, she didn't actually say throat, but something else. Philo Ray had no time for propriety. Philo Ray taught you? I've heard she was a brilliant arcanist. And the reason I'm not dead in a ditch. How did you meet? I, uh, uh, robbed her. That really was not what I was expecting. She was a fancy lady, I was a street kid. What would you have done? Okay, fine. I probably would have robbed her too. Can you blame me? All I saw was a case full of expensive looking things. I knew they had to be worth something to someone, so I grabbed the case. Shaper relics. I didn't realize the danger. I got lucky, nothing blew up when I took it apart. But Phyla had followed me. It was impossible for an unschooled vagrant to silence a relic, she said. That made her want to teach you? I think so. She never explained. Maybe it was the way I handled the relic. It took her an hour to convince me to go with her. I'd have jumped at the chance. Why didn't you? I didn't trust her. What changed your mind? She sat with me and explained the relics. She told me I could be an arcanist. She was kind. No one had been kind to me in years. She was the first to call me a prodigy. Damn, I miss her. Anyway, I... You're probably busy. We can talk later. Heard Tassin mumbling about the Dominion. Did you know... I once hid in a mountain watch spot. 
Well, hello again. How are you, Madam Chronicler? I hear you've been rescuing Arcanists. For all their study, Arcanists have a remarkable lack of common sense, don't you think? Oh, anything for research, right? Yes, put one's head into the mouth of an Ursix. For research. Well done. Still, they know more than I ever will. Well, that's up to you now, isn't it? Arcanists probably don't spend their time reading about talking Tessilars. They should. Tessie the Tessilar is a delightful reflection on the complexity of existence. Well... So you didn't like Tessie the Tessilar? Oh, no, I enjoyed reading it. You don't have to say you liked it just to please me. I genuinely enjoyed it. Hmm. As my mentor and royal cousin Negundel used to say, a genuine sign of true honor is complete honesty. But most freelancers aren't really concerned with honor, so... A freelancer's honor is in helping people outside the wall. Keeping our word, answering the call. Fine words. I wish I could believe in them. Why can't you? What do you have against freelancers? That's none of your business. Did something happen? Nothing happened, never mind. This conversation is over. Good day. Freelancer, you're back. Okay. Nice to see you too, Bryn. This might actually be a good thing. Might? A few beacons have gone quiet in the wilderness and were shorthanded. Those beacons are vital to my work here. If they're broken... So I should go fix your beacons. Ah, perfect. I'm so glad you offered. <laughs> my pleasure. Good, good. I'll talk to you in the field. No problem. So many things you are doing. Wonderful. I'm curious, what do you remember most? Good times? Bad? What? Honest now. The best days stick with me. The winds. That's what life is about, yes? Long time ago, I was out near the dawn gates. Stars were very bright. Rain made everything glow. I heard a sound. So strange. I couldn't place it. What was it? Children, alone, out in the jungle, far from anything. They were singing. Children? How did they... You see, how could I understand this? A strider had been attacked. I brought them home. It was a miracle. Music started. Dancing started. Saving a bunch of kids. That's a good day. Yes, yes, a good day. But one of those children, a stranger, was holding his hand. His parents... Died aboard that Strider. We should represent hope, but there are two sides to our job. When I celebrate my victories with great joy, I know that somewhere there is sadness too. There's always a cost. It's part of the job. Yes, but we can't let it stop us. Lost and alone, yet those children sang. You hear me? I hear you. You track down...
Freelancer. Right here. Again. Hi. The Sentinels don't have the resources right now to fix these beacons, so... Appreciate it. Well, things went so smoothly last time we worked together. How could I say no? <laughs> funny. That's funny. I'm sending you the drug crew now. Obviously, they help us monitor SCAR activity. Preparedness is key, but they're also useful for those archivists we're constantly saving. How so? The SCARs are always cornering them. No, I mean, how do the archivists use the beacons? Oh, right. The beacons collect information on the SCARs. Movement patterns, other science things, I guess. Someone's found the first beacon. I've got a signal! It worked! Stop sounding surprised. I told you, freelancers get it done. If you say so. Okay. Send me the next location. One thing about the next beacon. Yes? It's in the middle of an established car camp. <laughs> Sounds like a fun challenge. So what do the Arcanists do with that information? From the beacons? Yeah. They're trying to figure out what scars are, where they come from. Interesting. Probably. This is the place. Time to do what you do best. Flatterer. Of 
find a lot. Oh, I wish these stars would buzz off. Seriously. and you need to repair is here, Freelancer. I'm reading a massive score presence nearby. While you're out there? Say no more. We miss these scars. They must be scarring our patrols. With the beacons down, we have no way of knowing. Good thing we fixed that. Yes. This was very, uh, helpful. Was that so hard? No, yeah, scars ahead! Scar camp located. That's weird. That's with all the Arcanist machinery. What do you think's going on? I don't know, but these are definitely the scars on my reading. Deal with them now. Talk later.
is that? A relic quick follow with him. machinery for pickup. What are the scars doing with all this? I'll see you back at the fort, Freelancer. <clears throat> uh, thank you. <laughs> 